All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rechakurash, and double honors to the apostles, the elders, and great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always, all right, to the elect, all right, those of you coming back to the Most High God, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, through the sacrifice made by His only begotten Son, Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shai, and through whom we receive the Rechakwadas, the Holy Spirit, in these latter days to do exactly what we're doing, which is a gift, all right, and um, that we're thankful for, and we show it to the best of our ability through the works, all right, and through faith, all right, so me and the uh, priest Shah are here today, ultimately, to go through um, a faith-boosting lesson, uh, dealing with the times that we're in, all right, as the scriptures say, in the time of universal deceit, you see, <coughs> the truth is a revolutionary act, all right? So we're coming up on a uh, time and, and, and point in prophecy where the devil is getting ready to make his move. As you can see, there's many enchantments being thrown out, all right? Um, a lot of weird and <laughs> creepy, all right, uh, satanic rituals, all right? Uh, we can clearly see that this word is starting to become a terror unto Egypt, all right? As prophecy said it would be. All right, you have even the two-thirds waking up to particular things, all right? But us on the right-hand side, all right, Israel, the remnant, are the real threat to this NWO, New World Order, because we have the truth, and through the Holy Spirit, we're going to overcome this New World Order, okay? So we're going to get into a few things. You want to go ahead and bring something out? Yeah, just two pre starting precepts, right? Absolutely. Because you made all, you start off on two of really good points, and I'll start off on Revelation 11, chapter 11. Because what's happening right now is prophecy being fulfilled by these witnesses waking up being a terror upon Egypt. Mm -hmm. Am I right? It even says it in Sirach, the 36th chapter, as he's praying for the restoration of the elect, that all the tribes of Israel come together. And we're seeing that being assembled here within these last days with that small remnant waking up. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And it reads, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. And these are those two witnesses that it's talking about, okay? It says, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. All right, you can also find a precept to this in Isaiah, the 19th chapter. All right, going into where it says, in that day they shall be likened unto women, because of the rebuking of the hand of the Lord, or the shaking of the hand, so to speak, as you will. All right, because as we're saying all these things, these prophecies are coming to pass. No matter how much you can gainsay, come against it. And it's going to come to the point where the only thing that they can do mm -hmm. is raise up arms and come up against us as that flood. Right. As the scriptures say. And slander us. Mm -hmm. And slander us because the left hand, the way they operate, all right, uh, they, they're going to put out as much deceit as possible <clears throat> and they feel justified, all right, by the simple fact that they tell you the truth about what they're going to do through their movies, through their media, through their cartoons, through fake uh, prophets and, and, and left-hand demons they raise up, they'll say, we're justified. We told them. We put it in the movie in 1995. We put it in the book. We told them we were going to do it. That's right. <laughs> so so when, they, when, when it comes to pass, they, they, ultimately the way they operate is they're justified in what they're going to do to the people solely based upon the fact that they told them. That's right. All right? Now, the, the word has been given unto the men of the Lord in these latter days. So let's start it. Uh, you got something else? Yeah, just that yeah, second precept. I'm going to pull up yeah. real quick. This is Revelation 12 and 10. Going into exactly what you said. And I'm going to jump to 12. And you see that that scripture said, great fear fell upon them which saw them. Mm -hmm. Now, the the, the, the the true fearful ones are the elite. The, the trillion and billionaires of this world. They're really looking at us in fear. That's right. And that's why you see what, what's happening in the news they're preparing a slander campaign against those who have hold to particular ideas. That's right. Okay? And it's all for the purpose of coming against the prophets. Go ahead. Come, this is Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is salvation come, mm -hmm. and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, mm -hmm. which accused them before the Most High day and night. Right. That's that slander campaign That's right, right there. That's right. When you go into that word accuser, in the Greek, that word is pronounced categorial, mm -hmm. which goes into categorizing. Right. And we're going to see that in a larger scale, all right, especially since this influx of believers have been waking up, right. all right? Right. Jumping down to verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, mm -hmm. for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, right. because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right. And why does he know he has a short time? Because those two witnesses have risen up, and the spirit of life had entered into them. Mm -hmm. All right, and they know some, but they don't got the Holy Spirit on them, but they communicate with spirits on the left-hand side and such, so they know particular prophecies mm -hmm. that got to come to pass. That's right. All right, as soon as we've waken up and doing what we're doing through the spirit, that's that great fear that the Zaquan said, man, and that's going to make them move with that great wrath. Mm -hmm. You can also read about it in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, going into that great insurrection that's going to happen to those that believe. So we're in at times right now, but at the same time, as we're in these times, be looking for the standard to be lifted. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. That's right. And let's jump to Sirach, the 44th chapter. Come on. Start at 1. Because when you read from Sirach 44 through 51, uh, ultimately... It's, a, it's giving you the history and outline of the righteous men of the Lord and their mighty works. That's right. Then we're going we're, we're gonna to read a little bit of 44, but we're going to jump to 51, where ultimately there's a prayer <laughs> for, for ultimately those men to be protected because a lot of those men are back in these latter days. That's right. That's right. Okay. And they're, they're, they're given a particular testimony, all right, under the blood of Yahweh Shah that's going to be used as a focal point of victory over the beast, over his image, over his mark. And over all of the propaganda and lies that he's going to come with. And it's going to come like a flood, brothers. That's right. All right? And when you deal with a flood, a flood, when you deal with waters, man, go stand. We were just talking. Go stand at a beach and just look at the waters. Or, or, or look at waves, all right, uh, uh, on the internet. Uh, 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 overcome a city. How can you stop it? No stop it it's, it's no stopping it unless you have the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. That's, That's right. the only way. That's right. All right, and to be rooted. Now go ahead, read that first verse. This is Sirach chapter 44, verse 1. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begot us. Our fathers that begot us. The men of the Lord. Okay, when you read, uh, uh, what's that, Hebrews 11, it goes through an outline of their faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what happens as you read 44 through uh, 50. It gives you an outline of the, the, the righteous works of the men of the Lord. That's right. Okay, go ahead. Con, con, Sirach 44 and 2. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, mm -hmm. giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. And declaring prophecies. And that's what the men of the Lord have been raised up in these latter days to do. Sirach, the 36th chapter, real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sirach 36 and 15. Mm -hmm. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. And raise up prophets that have been in thy name. And that's how our people will be filled with the understanding that they would need to be rooted in the faith to get the hell up out of here, man. That's right. In these latter days, through men standing up in their lots. Okay, go ahead. Come, come. Verse 4. Leaders of the people by their counsel. Leaders. Yes, there are leaders. Okay. And by their power. I'm sorry. And by their knowledge of learning. Meet for the people. Wise and eloquent are their instructions. In their instruction, and that's what's happening. The, 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 the nation of Israel has been so long without instruction, but the Lord has raised up these famous men who have uh, been chosen and ordained from the foundation of the earth to do what? Preach the word. The scriptures say uh, uh, in 1 John, I have written unto you fathers because you know the truth, and the word of God abided in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. And we just read... They overcame him by the blood of Yahweh and by their testimony. So for the serpent to see these particular men being raised up, by default, we already know it's going to come with the slander campaign. Because remember, he's a fugitive. And a fugitive knows he's guilty. So as everyone here at the gas station, somebody looking at him, what, what is he doing? Anyone who knows what he did, he's going to figure out a way to slander them to make himself look better. And this is the point we find ourselves in prophecy as we're going through the straight gate. And there's no other way out. Right, right. Okay, you got something? Sorry, man. You good? You can, you can bring it out if you want to. Okay, this is a quick one. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. It's going into that instruction that this quam is going into, right? It says, I'm going to start at verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the waters of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, mm -hmm. and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, 
This is the way. Walk ye in it. Mm -hmm. When he turns to the right hand and when he turns to the left. Mm -hmm. and what is that way to walk therein? The instructions that we've been given that's been sent down from the heavens. Right. And what comes with that instruction as well, letting you know that it is going to come to a point where your forehead is going to have to be harder than other people's forehead. Yeah. All right. And you're going to have to receive persecution and suffer for a moment. And look crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, be, be lied on. Yeah, I wish I went through it. That's right. Okay, so we're 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 going through our course now. Jump to uh, Sirach forty-four and uh, ten. Okay, this is Sirach forty-four and ten. But these were merciful men, whose righteousness hath not been forgotten. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, because the remnant are awakened in these latter days. Mm -hmm. All right, to be promised. To, to, to receive that promise that was given unto the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. But there's a particular remnant, okay, who were foreordained to be perfect at the time Yahweh shall return. And that's mm -hmm. where we get the victory. Go ahead. Come, come. And their children are within the covenant. Their children are within the covenant. And the children have been raised up in these latter days. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Their seed stand fast mm -hmm. and their children for their sake. For their sake. So our fathers... The promise didn't come at the time that they did all of those righteous works. All right. But as the scriptures say, a man will be known in his children. Okay. So no one gets away. Those who are supposed to be rewarded will get the reward through what? Their children. And those who are supposed to be paid back will be paid back through their children. Thus saith uh, uh, the Holy Scriptures. You got, you got some? I do got a precept real quick. Ahead. This is First Peter chapter 1, starting at 6, and I'm going to jump. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season of need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial is your faith, being much more precious than gold, than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Mm -hmm. And we have our fathers before that that set that standard and endured through that. Mm -hmm. All right, and they did that as it's going to go into, mm -hmm. knowing that they wasn't even going to see the coming around that time. That, uh, Hebrews 11 goes into that. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, goes into it, it goes into it as well. Mm -hmm. But that shows you how laser focused that they was and how they had understood the main thing, knowing that their seed was going to have to come back in the latter days and read about their writings to know about the Lord. Right. Okay. Remember, Ezra's asked, you know, Gabriel, you know, how, you know, when you go into it, he said, when a number of seeds is filled right. in you, That's right. meaning you're going to have to go through this perpetual course of coming onto the earth, prophesying, teaching, mm -hmm. preaching, captivity. Right. Trying to get your people to see it until the final time in which we believe through faith, mm -hmm. all right, that this is that time That's where right. the, the word of the Lord is being glorified amongst the saints in a spiritual Babylon. That's right. As everything around us is turning left, wicked, we're staying on a straight path, man, which we, this ain't the first time this happened with the chosen seed. Mm -hmm. All right. We're just chosen in the movie, Lord willing, to be the ones, all right, in this time. For our father's sake, <laughs> to, to, to what? Stand firm mm -hmm. to get the inheritance, That's to right. get the promise. So as you read, you got some more? Yes, yeah, so look, oh, it's yeah. going to go on to the point. Yeah. It says in verse 8, Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believe ye rejoicing with unspeakable and full of glory, mm -hmm. receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets or our fathers mm -hmm have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, seeing what or what manner of time the spirit of Amashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the suffering of Amashiach and the glory and so like in the glory that should follow. And this is the last part first. Mm -hmm. I know I said I no, you get it. Verse 12, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister these things. Mm -hmm. And Peter is speaking of one who is acting or speaking as one of them seed. All right. They did it for us. Right. Okay. It said, which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which thing the angels desire to look into. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they did all that rigorous labor. Namely, for their seed, for their legacy. Right. Okay. Right. You got right. They they weren't self-willed. They understood mm -hmm. the greater good. Even the mother and her children in the Maccabees. What was the what was the narrative surrounding that? We're gonna come back. That's right. All right. So the foundation that our forefathers laid 
was for us to have this chance. So we can't mess this up, man. That's right. We have to walk in their steps. All right? And that's going to require a whole heap of faith. Now, as you go through Sirach, the 44th chapter, the 45th chapter, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, it's giving you the history of these great men. All right? And what they did. All right? Now, in the very last chapter, in the 51st verse, which we're going to jump to, there's a prayer, all right, for those men, all right? Now, this book, the, the Sirach, was written by um, a, a, a brother who was in a Greek captivity by the name of Yahawashai, son of Sirach, okay? So, these are some very important writings. We always stick to the, the book of uh, uh, Sirach, all right, for various instructions and various things. So, we're going to jump to verse 51, chapter 51, start at verse 1. God. And um, ultimately read through this chapter because this is where we find ourselves now. All of those great men, all right, were ultimately against the powers that be, okay? And now we stand in that, that uh, 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 lot in a sense that the new world order is getting ready to be established. Lies, deceit, witchcraft, and everything that has ran this world for, for ages, for years, okay, is now being challenged through this gospel. That's right. And the Lord is helping us out because he's even raising up heathen on the left hand side to, to speak things that are against the, 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 the wicked. They're getting exposed every which way. And that's how you can tell the Lord is working for us because whatever Esau does, he's countered immediately. If you're just looking at things with a spiritual eye, he's being countered. He's being exposed. Yeah. But that ain't going to keep him from trying and, 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 and going forth with his plan. That's right. Man, man hit it, hit it. you just brought up a beautiful point going into the time period of Sirach. When you go into it, this is actually during the time of what was called the Syrian Wars mm -hmm. that these letters were being written. Mm -hmm. All right. And this was heavily influenced writings that was given to us by our father, mm -hmm. you know, for us to build mm -hmm. around that time period where the Edomites were fighting against each other. Right. You know, so when we read this right here, you see exactly what's taking place right now. It's the same exact thing. When the Esau was, uh, I think, uh, Antiochus went and attacked uh, uh, the Sub uh, Ptolemy and them, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yep, yep, that's, yep. that's exactly what yep, it was. Yep, yep. I believe it was um, Antiochus the Third, mm -hmm. all right, or maybe maybe his father Seleucus, right. that was alive during this time period that these letters was written down by our mm -hmm. forefather, you know, uh, Sirach. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so just look at it spiritually today. The same things happening. Our enemies are fighting one another. We see it taking place where we had this time to build and bestow this wisdom mm -hmm. upon our people before they come. No, go ahead. Before they come with wrath, like Antiochus did. Right. Yeah. And what? The Hellenization. Yeah, that's right. We're living in that mm -hmm. time of Hellenization <laughs> where they're going to deem people who, who speak anything against their plan, and their one world religion that they're coming with as an enemy to the state. Man. That's right. So there's going to be a whole, uh, and the Lord got us. All right. It's not going to be based upon the flesh. The Lord has going to put the spirit, in particular, believers in these latter days to get through this thing. Mm -hmm. And to stand firm, all right. However, we got to tap into that power. We can't just say, "Well, the Lord got us." Now nah, we, hey, we gotta, we gotta uh, ultimately walk and press towards the mark mm -hmm. and, and build our faith day in and day out. So let's start at verse one in Sirach, the fifty-first chapter. That's a bit. It's Sirach fifty-one and one. I will praise thee, O Lord and King, and praise thee, O God, my Savior. I do give praise unto thy name. For thou art my defender and helper, mm -hmm. and hast preserved my body from destruction, mm -hmm. and from the snare of the slanderous tongue. And from the snare of the slanderous tongue. So be prepared for slander. And brothers, don't go into this thing thinking it's going to be fair. Right. It's going to be absolutely delusional, the lies that they tell. And we're going to be laughing too. But meanwhile, at the same time, you're going to start to have particular people who say they believe start to doubt, start to question you. Okay, you're going to be plastered all over the news as what? A terrorist. These are the times we're coming up on, man. And just imagine what Yahawashai had to go through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a quick precept. Go ahead. This is Wisdom of Solomon 10, chapter 10, verse 14. It says, and left him not in bonds, this is wisdom, till she brought him the scepter of the kingdom and power against those that oppressed him mm -hmm. as for them that had accused him. Woo! She showed Wisdom them. is going to deliver those who accuse us, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But we got to walk in wisdom. That's right. And the beauty of it all is that it's already preordained. We can read about the victory. Mm -hmm. 
It's already written. So somebody's going to get the victory. That's, right. That's where our comfort needs to come from, man. The fact that it's already preordained. However, we got to feel we got to fulfill it. All right. In this flesh. That's right. Go ahead. Con, con. It says she showed them to be liars and gave him perpetual glory. Woo! She showed them to be liars and gave them, the elect, perpetual glory. And that's what's getting ready to happen because Esau is a goddamn liar. Right, right, right. His dude is lying about everything. He's nasty. He's freaky. He's just, he's just unnecessary. But he's necessary for prophecy's right. sake. That's right. Okay, but when you look at the way this man rules and the things that are happening worldwide, it's like the, the, the slander that they're going to come with against us, it's like, nigga, stop. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. But there's going to be people moved by these things. Right now in the news, what do you see happening? They're trying to do anything in their power to get light off of that Epstein story. Right, right, right. Right? It's so much wickedness coming out on them. They have to address these things in their own news. But the way that they're going about it is a very wicked way, man. Mm -hmm. But they're through. They're finished. All right? We just got to get through that last point because they got the propaganda, all right, which is the sword, and the physical sword. That's all they got left. Lies and ultimately just coming full blown with the sword, which we see that being prepared through these draconian measures. Go ahead. Um, about the Sirach 51 and 2. For thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction, and from the snare of the slanderous tongue, and from the lips that forge lies, <laughs> and has been mine helper against mine adversaries. There you go. And the Lord is not going to leave us out to dry. However, we know we're going to be tested. The hour of temptation is coming. Yep, no, yep. No. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 3. And as delivered me, according to the multitude of thy mercies and greatness of thy name, from the teeth of them that were ready to devour me, and out of the hands of such as sought after my life. And that's what's ultimately getting ready to come up on the men of the Lord. And that's what the ultimate uh, fight is for. They want your head, man. Right, right. Because that's where ultimately the, the Lord deals with us at. They are coming after our heads, man. Mm. And some of us will be beheaded, but that's all right, because we'll be raised up first <laughs> with Yahweh Shad. So really, as I always say, there's no way to lose if you stick to what's right, okay? Because following Satan and agreeing with him and submitting it to him is out of the question for us, Right. okay? So what are they going to do? Uh, they're going to lie. They're going to try to devour us, and they want your life. These people want you dead, you know? In order for the NWO New World Order to really be fully established, people like us can't exist. Mm -hmm. It can't be an opposition or somebody talking about the God of the Bible. What happened at the time of the Hellenization? They burnt the scrolls, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Meaning they didn't want no remembrance of this in the earth. Yep, yep. How much more as the B system has heightened unto the power that it is? Yep. Same thing happened with Nebuchadnezzar. Yep. You know, hey, the Lord still raises that remnant afterward. He put the spirit go. on Ezra and those five men to rewrite everything that we have here today. There you go. You know, that's right, brother. Continuing on in verse three, it says, and from the manifold afflictions, which I had. Mm -hmm. We're going to go. We already going through afflictions, but more are coming. That's right. All right. But we're going to eat as everybody. It's all it's all sorts of other prophecies written. How we're going to be. We're going to get the victory. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come, come. Verse four. From the choking of fire on every side, and from the midst of the fire which I kindled not. From the midst of the uh, fire which I kindled not, man. So it's, it's going to be temptations on every side, man. Mm -hmm. And here it is, Jake worried about their jobs. There's going to be far, <laughs> all right, more to worry about in the coming days. That's right. But we don't worry because ultimately we know the Lord is going to get us through. So we operate and walk in faith, and this is what this grace period was for, to get through what's coming. We didn't get this grace period to party, become the best Israelite rappers, all right, uh, show off, be cute. This grace period was to build your faith to be ushered into that new covenant. Go ahead. Come, come. Verse 2. From the depths of the belly of hell, from an unclean tongue, and from lying words. From the, from the depths of the belly of hell. Esau's beast system. Mm. This is the belly of hell. Right. Hell is every everywhere you look around you, hell is taking place. Witchcraft, left-hand practices, slander. The woman is being exalted against the man. Children are being defiled. They're basically doing away with sex. They said by the year 2050, there'll be 200 different sexes or genders. You see what I'm saying? This is the belly of hell, okay? 
in the unclean tongue. Right. The scriptures say his tongue walketh throughout the earth. Man, as a matter of fact, I'll get that in Psalm the seventy third chapter real quick. Come. You want to say something? On that? Oh man, you know, I mean, you, you expounded on that very beautifully, man. You know, the um, belly of hell is also what Jonah considered the fish. The fish you know, very unstable, dark condition. And that's where we're at right now. Hey, even King David prayed about it in Psalms 23rd chapter. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, he mentioned being in the valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. You know, that shadow is a darkness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That is the belly of hell that we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of that, our enemies coming up against us, we've, been, we've still been given this understanding to commune one with another, to suffer with the Lord. And to be given that confidence to know that we're going to be taken care of in the midst of all this shit. Right. You know? Right. This is Psalm 73 and 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Esau. They set their mouth against the heavens. <laughs> all right. They blaspheme the name, the tabernacle, the angels. Mm -hmm. Okay. And their tongue walk it through the earth. Right. Right. So their mindset, their philosophy, their wine is everywhere. <laughs> Right. Everybody has been tainted and poisoned with the wine of, and, and wrath of Babylon the Great, but the remnant have awakened from it. Right. Even right. the people who are speaking against particular things, in some shape, form, or fashion, they're still drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're still drunk off of the BS. They may be saying some good things. They may be speaking out and exposing things, but overall, they still want America to continue. They're still with all of this confusion. But the Lord has just put the spirit on particular of them to expose things. And that's, that's all right. right. It's going right. to be that. All right. Yeah, that's right. That goes into the great things that he had spoken against the Heavenly Father in Revelation, the 13th chapter. Mm -hmm. And what's tied to those great things coming up against his elect. Mm -hmm. All right. Trying to stop away from the son of man returning on the planet Earth. Right. Creating a whole Star Wars program trying to fight against the chariots, mm -hmm. all right? These are all the great things, mm -hmm. all right? Thinking of a way to put you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in a box, right. all right? Category just Ca categorize you. Pseudoscience. My, that's right, pseudoscience. I was just about to say that. My colleague goes to it all the time, all right? What is it called? Um, social Darwinism, okay? All these are those great things in that snare that he laid behind you. And now we see the modern-day eugenics taking place right now with the venom. These are all those great things in that snare that he's putting against you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And everybody believes the BS. Right, right. People's minds have been conditioned to believe a lie, as is written in 2 Thessalonians, mm -hmm. the second chapter. That's right. So we're going to have hell on every side. Mm -hmm. Okay, when Esau starts to touch these people, a lot of them are going to fold. The people who are talking all these, exposing these things, a lot of them are going to fold. The elect, at the end of the day, are going to be the last one standing. But the Lord is going to put the spirit on a lot of the two-thirds, the heathen, these patriotic Edomites, to fight. Mm -hmm. But that's not our fight. We're not supposed to go out and try to take down that's this it. government. That's We're right. not fighting for a stake here. <clears throat> we see the, the, the sons of God have a program in them. The scriptures say the name of Yahweh is written in their forehead. In our mind is written the victory. That's right. Okay? So the, 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 the test is this. To walk... In the spirit to conquer death, man, immortality. Let everybody else have their fight. We're not fighting for a state here. Okay? That's right. Cool. But all of those things that these people are going to do are going to lead to what? Chaos, which leads to prophecy. But in the midst of all of that chaos, the scriptures, like in 2nd Edge of the uh, 16th chapter, it gives you a mindset to be in. Be as pilgrims on the earth, even in the midst of these evils, man. That's right. Meaning you, you're not tied spiritually to anything here and you know that hey this is when it's time to let it go you got to let it go that's right all of this stuff is temporarily america babylon the great was never forever for us there's an exit point just like uh egypt all right go ahead come this is back in sirach chapter 51 verse 5 again all right going into being saved from the depths of the belly of hell <laughs> from an unclean tongue and lying words mm -hmm. by an accusation to the king from an unrighteous tongue mm -hmm. my soul draw near even unto death my life was near the hell beneath Woo, from the act by an accusation to the Come king on, all right from an unrighteous tongue so yes. people are going to be lying on us man that's right go that's ahead right. oh man this reminds me of what was taking place when we had built the second temple. Mm -hmm. We had started building the second temple. You had the heathen that accused us and wrote that letter to King Cyrus to stop the building take place, man. And it just shows you how history repeats itself. 
nothing new under the sun. As this temple is being built through the spirit, you got the accuser that's right there that's trying to stop. But you always say, as a crime, there's no way that you can stop the building or sack a spiritual temple. Right. Okay. That's the victory we have because this this, this is a connection, all right, from the heavens into right. the minds of the elect. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> remember, who, who destroyed the last standing temple we had? Esau. Esau, the Romans. Mm -hmm. Now we're in this modern day Rome. And they have a, 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 a task to try to destroy the, the, the spiritual temple. Mm -hmm. And they can't do it. But, the, but, but, but they think as long as they can slander, use enchantments, lie, okay, and, and ultimately present us as wild beasts, they're then justified in taking us out. Mm -hmm. All right? So we got to rely heavily upon the Lord in the coming times, man. That's right. And the Lord has showed us more than enough to know this ain't, this world ain't the way. Mm -hmm. All right? He's shown us more than enough to say that we, we, we are comfortable with separating from this world and saying to hell with you people. That's right. Because the people who are going to be lying against us, they're adulterers. They're, 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 they agree with what's going on in Babylon the Great. And ultimately, they want it to continue going. Mm -hmm. They want to be in the NWO. They want uh, the boosters. They want your children to be getting boosters for the rest of their life. And they want you, they're going to be okay with you getting the karagma. That's right. So F these people, man. They're all anti-Messiah, and at the end of the day, their opinions are minuscule. They're stupid any damn way. They're empty. So really, why are you, what are you worried about it for? The opinion of these empty people. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Verse 7. This is a heavy chapter. They compromised me on every side. Compassed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where I got compromised right. from. They compassed me on every side. and there was... when, you, when you read up, it says, my life was near to hell in, in uh uh, my soul drew near even unto death. My life was near to the hell beneath. So, hey, man, uh, scarcely saved. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. They compassed me on every side, and there was no man to help me. I looked for the succor of men, but there was none. And that also goes into the that also goes into the curses in Deuteronomy twenty eight, where it says, "No man shall buy you." Mm -hmm. All right, which that word "buy" goes into redeem. That's it right there. Being in captivity, you look for all these figures to try to save you. Mm -hmm. The only one that can save you is Yahavashai, who's not going to meet us as a man. Right. All right. And the only people that are going to be with your message are the elect. That's right. Everybody else is going to be like, hell no, nah, that's too much. You, 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 uh, you're a terrorist. Mm -hmm. You're crazy. That's okay, right. Go ahead. Come, come. It says, verse 8, Then thought I upon thy mercy, O Lord, and upon thy acts of old. How thou delivered such as wait for thee. Right. That's the importance of the old, what they call the Old Testament. That's it. That's it. It's important in knowing and going into the prophets, knowing the history and understanding the power that we're dealing with here and how he's always taking care of us. Okay. We're here in this uh, uh, destructive situation for our, we went off. Okay. And that's another, that's one thing you have to get through your head. We went off. We were the ones who were at fault when it comes to that first covenant. So we deserve to be here. That's right. However, it's, it's, it's promised the Lord is going to get us out. He ain't going to leave you here. You think the Lord woke us up in these latter days just to say, you know what? Not this generation. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the next exactly. one. Though he could do it. Right. But what legacy are you going to leave behind just like our forefathers? Are you going to leave behind a, a quitter's legacy? Or are you going to leave behind something to come back into and enter into in righteousness? That's right. But we think this is it. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Lord woke us up in these latter days just to say next next generation. I think this is it. Well, hey, you see the prophecies taking place, and the scriptures say, you know, what I'm saying, um, loose, loosely paraphrasing, He's shortening the days for the elect's sake. Mm -hmm. All right, and why is it? Because He says, "What there shall no flesh be saved." Right. All right. So I believe. I mean, obviously speaking, as a man, this has to be it. Right. Because look at all. Look at look at what Esau is doing with the food. Right. The water. Everything's dead. Look at what he's teaching the children right now. Okay. So what this devil is doing is literally leading to no other seed lines being left on the earth. Right. Now again, the Lord is going to preserve His elect like He's always done. But it was also written and read and spoken by Yahweh Shai that no flesh should be saved. At least those days be shortened, man. All right, so this has to be that generation that David talked about in Psalms, the 24th chapter, that shall ascend into the holy hill and have those clean, those clean hands. Right. Okay, and we just so happen to believe that this is that generation through the Spirit. I do got a quick precept oh, yeah. going into what was just read. Right. This is Sirach chapter 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High 
and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. And that's the key, prophecies. We always go into it. You read about it in 2 Ezra, the first chapter. It goes into those, those little ones that were going to come, whose houses he was going to give to another, which is talking about us being that seed, waking up in foreign, strange lands. And then it says, in the midst of that, all right, we were going to be looking at Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Zephaniah, Jonah, all these different prophetic figures as leaders in these last days. And what does that go into? Us reading their writings, reading their right. scrolls. Right, and that's what they want you to look to. Frederick Douglass, mm -hmm. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. They want you to look to mm -hmm. all of them. Right. That's why they try to force that down your throat as those are your leaders. That's right. No, our leaders are written in this book, man. That's right. Okay, and they that's... operated on extreme faith, and they were for their people. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Come it says in verse 2, not compromised. That's right. It says, and he will keep the sayings of the renowned men, these commandments. Right. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Right. Okay. And where subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's, that's that holy conversation through the spirit, okay. which we know that that's a lifestyle. Right. But it's literally also the conversation that's going to come out of our mouths, all right, which comes from this source of th this wisdom right here. That's right. Okay, that's it on that precept. Right, so let's go back to Sirach 51. Come on, this is back in Sirach chapter 51, verse 8. Then thought I upon the mercy, O Lord, and upon thy acts of old, how thou delivered such as wait for thee, mm -hmm. and savest them out of the hand of thine enemies. And that's going to be the, the, the key, being patient in these times. Okay, mm -hmm. even with these particular mandates, as we've been patient, the Lord has got us through. Right. Now, right. you maybe have certain people who you, you, you may have to lose your job, but the Lord, it, it, there's plenty of jobs. Yeah, if yeah. that's the, the, what you're worried about, it's always going to be, you know what I'm saying? But eventually, this system is going to be shut down. But being patient, just looking at the brothers, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. certain brothers have went through things, but patience has gotten us. That's right. You know, while the people who rushed out there and were scared into the, uh, uh, Juicing up now, look at where they're at. Now there's a whole new <laughs> thing right. that the juice don't work for. Right, right. So th that, that's what, what the scriptures say, those who consent to them are going to be had in derision. You people who chose the beast and wandered after the beast and bowed to this image are going to show you. It's gonna, the time, is, time itself is going to be a witness that you made the wrong decision. That's right. That's but right. those who waited, the Lord he ain't going to leave them uh, out to dry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 9, Sirach 51. Then lifted up my supplication from the earth and prayed for deliverance from death. I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord, that he would not leave me in the days of my trouble. He called to Yahweh Shaphe. All right, let's read, it, let's read that again. I called upon the Lord. I'm sorry, he called to Yahweh, but that was through Yahweh Shai, Salaki, the Father of my Lord, and he would not leave me in the days of my trouble. And in the time of the proud, when there was no help. Right, read that again. Come on. I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord. I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, do you get that, Sakari? Yeah. Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And also, just to say, there was a thorough understanding of Yahweh Shai coming in, in the name of Yahweh Shai in the earth, because we got to remember. When he write in the scrolls of Ezra, 2nd Ezra, the 7th chapter, all right, he tells Ezra that his son was going to come. In the na his name was going to be Yahweh Shai, all right, and he was going to, like, be a leader to the people, all right? So there was a common understanding around the, Jew the Jews that believed around that time to know that the Son of God was going to come and make deliverance and, and, and pretty much um, will deliver, deliver the people, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's not that he's just blindly, I'm sorry, blindly saying I called upon the Lord, the Father of my Lord. No, he already had an understanding that Yahweh Shai was going to come in the mist because it was written in the scrolls in Ezra. Okay? Just wanted to throw that history out there. Mm -hmm. But this is back in Sirach chapter 51, verse 10. I called upon the Lord, Yahweh, the Father of my Lord, Yahweh Shai, that he would not leave me in the days of my trouble and in the time of the proud when there was no help. And that's the times we're coming that's into. That's it. The Lord that's has created it. the wicked for the day of evil. And nobody's, you know, the, the, as uh, what Yahweh Shai said when he came back, he said, of the people, there was none with me. Mm -hmm. So it's not, these people ain't with the Lord. These people ain't with the throne of David being set up. These people are ultimately, they may be against this government in the sense of the things that they're doing, 
But really, they don't want the prophecies to come to pass. They don't right. want Yahweh and the 144 to rule. That's right. So in a time where there's going to be no help for the men of the Lord coming from this world, we're going to have to rely on a, a, a source from a whole other dimension. That's right. That's right. Okay? God. And that's the fight for the sun. This is a, this is a beautiful movie. Mm -hmm. We were literally awakened in this flesh to overcome death. That's right. Now, when you look at the power they have, how can you actually do that? Well, through the spirit. All right. Uh, don't, don't look at the woman with the red dress. All right. Stay on the path. OK, believe you can overcome because literally they're coming with uh, uh, machines, all types of technology to like to where it's going to be like, how, how are we going to win? Well, it's going to be through the spirit. We're going to win. That's right. Because the spirit is going to overcome the flesh as your Shai has already conquered it. Go ahead. Come, come. Verse 11. I will praise thy name continually. And will sing praise with thanksgiving. And so my prayer was heard. Mm. Hey, the real thanksgiving is praising the names of Yahweh Yahushai. All right. Verse 12. For thou saved me from destruction and delivers me from the evil time, which is the time we're approaching right now. Therefore will I give thanks and praise thee and bless thy name, O Yahweh Yahushai. That's it. That's okay. It. That's it. Okay. For sure. We'll stop there, man. That's a bad. So any other precepts? Man, hey, love's the key. Keep the commandments. Right, right. Love is the key. All right. So with that, we'll give all praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. And double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation unto the elect. All right. And death and destruction. All right. To the two-thirds of our people, the heathen. Esau, Edom. All right. You're going to be found out to be a liar. Go ahead and bring what you got. Because ultimately, you're deal we're dealing with a power here that ultimately is playing chess with you. That's right. All right? And checkmate is coming there. So shalom. 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 Shalom.